This is the Freestyle Optium Neo, the latest blood glucose monitoring device from Abbott Diabetes Care. The Freestyle Optium Neo provides a wealth of tools to help keep your blood glucose levels under control. These include a touch screen, takes blood glucose and blood ketone results, insulin dose logging, highlights low and high sugar level trends, and provides insulin dose suggestions. You'll notice as I go through the review that the Optium Neo uses a combination of buttons and touchscreen technology. The meter alerts you to any high or low sugar level trends. If you get a reading of 3.9 or below, you will see an arrow pointing downwards displayed here. Similarly, if you get a high sugar reading that's 13.3 or above, you will get an up arrow here. If you get three different low readings within a period of five days, you will notice you get a flashing down arrow here. Similarly, if you get three high readings within the five day period, you'll get a flashing up arrow here alerting you to a trend. Now let's run through a test. Start by taking a test strip outside of the foil. They're foil wrapped which uh, gives them more freshness. Stick it into the test strip port here and the meter turns on. Make sure your lancing device is primed and set to the depth setting you require. Put the lancing device on the side of your finger. Gently squeeze your finger to draw blood. And apply the blood to the end of the test strip, which will suck it up. The bars disappear and you'll see a countdown. It's given me my result, a little bit on the high side, but that's fine. You can also log your insulin doses. If you turn the meter on, press a butterfly, which is the on and off button. Look for the syringe icon and press that on the screen. Now, say I want to log a before meal. I press the before meal icon and I get a chance to choose my dose. So I'm going to choose seven units of quick acting insulin and I log the dose by checking the box, pressing it there. So that's now my dose logged. To see your logged readings, hit the logbook icon in that top corner. So pressing that gives us a chance to scroll through our different readings. We can go up and down and show insulin log doses and also the blood glucose test results. If we have a look at one of the insulin doses, we see it's four units and it's a before lunch dose we took. Here's the rest of my results. And if you want to go to your averages, you can click the logbook again when you're in the logbook, which will give you your averages. This is the seven day average, and it also tells you where it says N2, that means I've taken two test results in the last seven days. If I do the 14 day average, I can see I've been taking four test results in the last 14 days, and in a similar way, you can see your 30 day average. The meter also offers insulin dose suggestions. The meter gives background insulin dose suggestions if you take fasting blood glucose tests and record fasting results outside of your desired range. The meter also offers mealtime insulin dose suggestions. So say if you have a high level before lunch, the meter will take your normal dose into account and add an additional correction factor to help bring your levels back down to normal. Remember, always treat insulin dosing with care. As well as being able to take blood glucose tests, 
The Freestyle Optium Neo can also take blood ketone tests. I hope this review has given you a good introduction to the Freestyle Optium Neo. To keep in touch with more reviews and video guides, subscribe to our channel.